right, so made a video already about the cooling inside of the shift pod, so we're gonna do a shift pod tour. We're on the back side right now. We've got three solar panels here, 22, 22, 15. This one powers the fans that are supposed to go into the air conditioning right here. I didn't want to do air conditioning, so I just put two um, can fans right here. The good thing about solar is when it gets hot, the sun's out. So when the sun's out, hits the solar panel, you've got immediate cooling. What else did we do? All that's testing that we did in the last few weeks, using the, uh, the pool noodles at the top, it worked. But yeah, let's go inside. We got the silver one, matches the silver shoes. Here we go. We got fans. We got one right behind me, right at the entrance. We got another one right over here. More cross ventilation. Um, I'm sure there's a more optimal way, but it still worked this year. We've got the other two soda can fans pumping in air. Um, remember, this is actually made for air conditioning units. We've got two Arctic air coolers here. And um, when you're laying down in bed and they, they're pumping air right on top of you, it feels really good. Right now, it's like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. You know, I know the peak is probably, the peak of the sun is probably four. It's not that hot in here. I, I can even show you how hot it is in here right now. That's right. It's about 100 degrees outside. In here, 84 degrees. Do that again. 100 degrees. Go inside. 84 degrees. Arctic air coolers. 65 degrees. Oh wow, weird, huh? 67, 72. 66. Just about room temperature shooting out. Um, there's a lot of breeze coming through as long as you got the fans going. If you got the Arctic airs, you can sleep. I just I actually just woke up from a nap. So <clears throat> it is possible, you know. Uh, make sure you got the blast shield up, make sure you got the pool noodles or some kind of spacer to let the air go through. Some, I guess, would argue you don't really need it. <laughs> but I want to be extra sure. We've also got a box fan on the floor just to put more cross ventilation. If you want to make it easy, I mean, you could always just get the air conditioner one and one, like, huge box fan and just blow the shit out of this whole place. That's it. That's, that's the whole thing inside. Um, here is Cheryl with all the decorations and how, how she made it look nice to live in and actually be really convenient to live in. I really wanted to make this place feel like home for the week and just from previous experiences in living in a regular camping tent and then a yurt, um, I decided I wanted to go all out for the biggest home that we've ever had um, and here. So it's a nice 12 by 12 space and um, here we're using our nice full size sleeping bag. It's definitely made for the winter so it's good for the cold nights. And then when we want to take day naps, we just sleep on top and then we have these pillows. And then we got these cool dog pillows at um, TJ Maxx Home Goods for like less than $20 each. So I thought that was like a pretty good deal. And then got this table because I really wanted to set up a table for like my vanity and just random stuff. This folds up. I got this on Amazon um, and it was like under $40. Here I have like, like my makeup and my accessories and then just like hygiene stuff and wheatgrass and try to be healthy out here. Um, also, this is our old swamp cooler we made a couple years back but doubles up as a chair. But in case anyone needs a swamp cooler, we got one. <laughs> so we tuck it in, we're not using it. And um, we also like to use these shelves this we just took from home but we organize all our clothes in these bins um, this year we were really good and we're able to squeeze all of our outfits into one bin per person so I'm pretty impressed with myself in the beginning of the week I try to put everything in a ziploc bag but by today's the last day it's Saturday so it's just a giant mess in here so I'm not gonna even show you what it looks like and in here are my accessories like for my hair <laughs> so so random, you have a bin for your hair. Random box of accessories, yes. <laughs> and then um, gloves and toilet paper, baby wipes and water. 
gotta have our hamper. Um, and then we got our trash bin. These are great, they fold up. Um, and they were like less than $10 each. Here we actually have a box of our coats, which if we were to improve this for next time, we'd probably put a coat rack in here because, I mean, we're just stuffing our coats in and out of this box and it's fine. We got four coats in there though, right? We do, we have stuffed four like fur coats. Yeah, so, uh, somehow. I guess it's safe space. Oh yeah, I got string lights for nighttime. Uh, got lots of lighting in here and shelving for like our electronics and stuff and drinks and snacks and then this is where we hide our bags. Um, and cannot forget the full length mirror so you can see what you look like before you leave. It's very important because it's really easy to look a monster. <laughs> um, and we got our rugs. We gotta have the rugs. Because this ply dust gets everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think that's it. I also want to mention that these fans that we've got here, they also double up as lights, they're LED lights, uh, twisted around. We also put filters on the windows. One thing that I would do next time around is I found out that these filters attach to Velcro. So I'm going to get some Velcro line and put it right here and just stick it on and it won't pop off. I mean, you see how these things easily just kind of, they don't stay up, right? So. Luckily this year wasn't too bad. The, bad, the, the worst of the windstorm was I think on Monday or Sunday when we were trying to get in. We actually were stuck outside a gate road for uh, eight hours. We got here at 8.30. We weren't allowed to get into the city until six. It was so windy that uh, visibility was bad. So if we drove, we would be hitting each other, bumper cars and all that stuff. Not good. Yeah, so that's where we live this whole week.